Hi guys and welcome to the Gonto series. This is a quick tutorial to talk about how to quickly install MySQL database in your local machine and how to access it using a graphical user interface for any database related operations. This tutorial I have specially provided in the Hibernate series of tutorials for all who have not yet installed any other database and want to quickly install MySQL and use that. There are two ways of installing MySQL database. First way is go to the MySQL website, download and install the MySQL database. And then again, download and install the GUI tools like SQL Web, MySQL Workbench, etc. separately to access it for all the database related operations. And the second way is install the WAMP server, which is an installer that would install both MySQL database and the GUI tool to interact with the database for all crude operations. I'm going with the second way that is installing the WAMP server because it's the quickest way to install both MySQL and the GUI tool in just one go. Let's start. Go to the website WAMP server and download the WAMP server exe for your local machine. WAMP server exe will download three things for you Apache server, MySQL database and PHP. In this, PHP MyAdmin is a GUI tool to interact with MySQL for all the database operations. You would see here download for 32-bit computer and 64-bit computer. So if you have a 64-bit computer, choose the 64-bit WAM server and if you have a 32-bit computer, choose the 32-bit WAM server. If you are not sure which system you have, go to the start computer, right click and choose properties. And here you would find system type, which will talk about what system you have. It is 64-bit or 32-bit. Since my system is 64-bit, I have chosen 64-bit download. Once the download is done, click the exe to run it. Simply go with all the recommended options and you are done. Click on run. Say yes. Click on next. Accept the agreement. It's asking for where to install WAMP server. You can choose the default one which is a C drive or you can give your own. So for me, I'm giving D drive as a location of the WAMP. Click on next create desktop icon for the WAMP server, click on next and then click on install. So this will install MySQL database, Apache server and the GUI tool to access the database. Click on open. Go with the default options, click on next. Click on finish. So this has installed WAMP server in your local machine. Now go to your desktop and you would find here WAMP server icon. Just click on it, click on yes and immediately that you would find a WAMP server icon over here. Just click on it and click on start all services. This would start MySQL database, Apache server and the PHP MyAdmin which is the GUI tool to access the database. Now your server is started. Go to the PHP MyAdmin. So this is the GUI tool which you would use to access the MySQL database. Go to the database. You'd find here a lot of database which are already there which have come along with the MySQL installation. You can create your own new database. For example, for all my Hibernate tutorials, I'm going to use Hibernate tutorials database. So let's create that. Click on create and this would create Hibernate tutorials, a new database in MySQL. You can create new tables using this create table option or you can view records in any table by clicking on the table's name or you can write and execute queries in this SQL tab. In the next tutorial, we'll start writing our first Hibernate Java application. Mm -hmm.